Uh, according to you, Minister, from the same video, as, as Reverend yourself and um, Minister of National Guidance and Religious Affairs, uh, what do you make of that video? I mean, there's different uh, reactions to it, whether from the ruling party and from various stakeholders opposing it. Uh, what, what's your stance as a ministry on, on that video? I think we, you know, people want to look for uh, negatives, you know, uh, but there's a message there. You know, that uh, as leaders, anybody who is aspiring to be a leader in our nation, I think they need to embrace the issue of uh, uh, self-respect, but also respecting others. And they have to be peace carriers, uh, peace promoters, uh, non-violence. I think, I think it's, 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 that's the message that is coming out of there. Mm. But part of the message was about rigging, uh, which we love to believe is against national for values. For me, for sure, that, is, that was a joke. It's a joke. We, we, are, <laughs> we are a nation that uh, respects the law of the land. Uh, we are a democratic, a constitutional nation, and there's no room for that. I take it as a, as a joke. There is no room for such things in our nation. Don't you think it was dangerous then for the father to joke about something like that at a sensitive time such as this one to a point where maybe he's being misquoted? Yes, I, I, I mean, uh, when you are standing on the pulpit, uh, you have to, you are standing in the place of God. So, you know, you, you, you should focus on uh, speaking the mind of God and uh, the word of God itself. Uh, but of course, uh, you have to be uh, relevant and uh, give examples of what people can relate to. So yes, we focus on preaching the word of God and speaking the mind of God. So in conclusion, you see nothing well, wrong uh, in, in that video. Pardon? I'm saying in conclusion, uh, nothing. you see nothing wrong as a minister in that particular video. No, no I, I don't want to put words in my mouth. Mm. I think the people of Zambia are at liberty to debate issues, mm -hmm. to debate situations. Let them debate. I think the key thing that which I'm saying is that we expect every leader to condemn violence, not an eye for an eye. Mm. No. Let us uh, promote peace in our nation. So we expect leaders to be above board, and those that are aspiring for office, be above board. Mm. Let's not uh, 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 promote uh, violence. Mm. Uh, let us be a peaceful people. On, on, on this particular matter, um, going forward, we've heard of uh, church leaders who maybe oppose, uh, who condemn what happens in government and how certain decisions are being made. And also heard from some who commend uh, the government for what gets to happen. Going forward, should we, sh should it be allowed for church leaders to, to continue speaking out on politics, on governance when they're speaking to their con congregants in the open like that, in public, especially this year? I know you've mentioned it's their role also to preach peace and love, but should they be focusing also on the politics of, of this country and governance? Well, uh, for me, Zambia is a democracy. Uh, church leaders uh, have an, an important role to play in the governance of the nation. So they, they have something that they can give to the nation. They can guide the nation on many issues. Uh, so we can't like restrict them, but of course we expect uh, a clergy to conduct themselves in a in a very civil way and also in a spiritual way that whatever they speak about has to have a balance it is very very important because you know they are representing god so whatever you speak you ensure that uh, there is balance there are facts and that you know you are uh, giving value to the people, whatever you are talking about should give value to the people.